Welcome to Memorial Cooking Innovations. I'm Tim Scallon, registered dietitian. And I'm Manuel Marini, executive chef. Manni, recentemente ho avuto gli italiani nella mia cucina rendendo la pasta. Non è possibile, signori. Qui nel Texas Est? Sì, sì, alla mia casa. Unbelievable. Tim, you're something else, man. <laughs> but you know what? I'm glad we're doing pasta, man, because this brings me back to the old days. You know, yeah. growing up, Mama, we did the gnocchis, you know, that just brings a lot of history yeah. and stuff like that. And there's nothing better than fresh pasta. And your mother and dad are My Italian. mother and dad are Italians, grew up and raised in Argentina as well. Yeah, so yeah. we got that background Italian and, and we right. enjoy cooking. All right. All but right. I got a big surprise for you. What no. were you doing? What were you doing in <clears throat> September 2008? You recall what we were doing in September 2008? September 2008. Welcome to Memorial Cooking Innovations. And today, Chef Reggie is going to cook for us some delectable uh, items for holiday cooking. Chef Reggie, tell us what you're gonna cook. No, no way. Yeah, actually, no, that's what we got our hats be. on. No, you're not telling me. Yep, not I Chef, gotta guess. Not Chef Reggie Malone. Oh yeah. Chef Reggie, hey, man, on, how, how are you? I can't how believe it. Hey, yeah. how's it going, Chef? Good, man. I'm glad you came by and stopped and visited us. So, so, you know what? You haven't changed a bit. Yep, hey, still Chef Richard. You know, he's gotten older. <laughs> and a little heavier, <laughs> but hey. Well, not that, but yeah. who's, who's counting? Who's counting, right? That's right. But you're That's looking right. good, Reggie. Yeah. Hey, well, we got a good surprise. I'm glad you're here with us because we're All going right. to Italy this time, and we're going to make some fresh pasta. What do you think about that? Hey, let's go for pasta is one of the things I'm working on towards my certification. Okay. All right, good All job. Right. So All this right. is perfect. Okay, now that we're ready for the pasta, I got your mixing bowl. And now the recipe is pretty simple. We got some semolina. Okay. All right, so let's pour a cup and a half of semolina. And, and, and just so people know what semolina is, we'll this do is a cup a and a half of that uh, flour. Semolina is a, is a type of flour that the Italians oh, use, more flour. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's, it makes a tougher dough. And so whenever you're, in, in fact, hand me that uh, bag right there, just so our viewers can see what we're talking about. Sometimes you can find this at the grocery store. Uh, I happen to find this at a health food store. And uh, it, 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 it's a higher protein content which means that it makes a tougher dough. So that's why the Italians, they use just semolina. Just but, semolina. But in most recipes here, we mix it half and half. Half and half. And then I got some two eggs beaten, okay? We'll just pour it right in the middle. What you do is you, once you mix your two flours together, then you just start mixing it a little bit at a time. And it's gonna be, become a dough. Now, Chef Reggie, are you sure you haven't done this before? Because you look experienced at this. Well, <clears throat> Hey, I can learn anything. I mean, hey. I believe it. I believe it. Once you mix that well, now we're going to add a little bit of flour. I mean, uh, sorry, water, warm water, okay? Keep mixing. T there you go, Reggie. Hey, one thing we may want to mention, we're using hand instead of as opposed to a whisk. Yeah. Remember, yeah. we're making homemade pasta. There you go. That's right. And you know, pasta, it's in the hands. It's in the hands. All in the hands. It's all in the hands, Tim. Plus, it gives it a little flavor. There you go. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that would be the Reggie thing, right? Yeah, yeah. But you know what? He's right about that because, you know, our hands have oils on them. Of course, we want them to be washed. washed of clean, course. But, but our hands have oils on them that contribute the flavor to the pasta. And that's, you know, us Americans think that's kind of a weird thing. But to the Italians, that's just part of life. That's beautiful. Mix it. Now we're going to move over here by Tim and we're going to knit, knit it really good. Okay. Here are a few tips on making good pasta. Knead the dough long enough until it is completely smooth and elastic, at least 10 to 15 minutes. If you break it apart and there are air pockets or crumbly bits of unworked flour inside, it is not ready. After kneading, Separate the dough into smaller portions that are easier to work. Keep the dough moist by covering the dough balls with a kitchen towel until you work them. If you're using a pasta machine, roll the balls out no wider than will fit into the machine. The task will be easier as a team project. It works better to have one person feeding and cranking and one person catching the pasta as it is cut and spreading it out on a flat surface to dry. 
Making fresh pasta is easier than you think, and the flavor, well, it's in the freshness. That's looking good. Reggie, let me see. Perfect, perfect. Why don't we just cut them into individual balls and we'll let them put them here and let them rest for a few minutes? Okay, if you notice, Chef, the texture of the semolina is more so like a cornmeal. It is, but it is. It's just a little, it's a wheat and it's, it's, it's a little finer it, texture, right? It's so, actually, it's coarser than coarser. the flour, but, yeah. and, but it makes it's that a lot dough more real. Than the flour. Yeah, it makes the dough almost feel dry, huh? Perfect. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, okay, so we're going to cut it. Cut it, cut it in half by hand. Yeah, you can just, just cut it by hand, and then cut it again. We're just gonna make small balls, and we're gonna let let it rest a little bit here. Now, here, let me do because one. we're we're a little bit fancier nowadays. In the old days, of course, we used the rolling pin. Remember that, Tim? Yep. You and I used to sit there and just roll and roll and roll and I roll. I remember and that. Back when we were uh, growing up <laughs> in in the vineyard. Yeah, exactly. And then you say, Mom. Mama, mama mia, mama mia, is is it thin enough? No, thinner, and you just kind of like roll, roll, <laughs> roll. But because of technology, we have this nice little machine. There's yeah. some fancier ones too. Yeah. We can get these locally. Everybody can go to the uh, one of those kitchen yeah. supply stores or home supply stores and buy one of those. Okay. All right. We have our pasta balls covered, and what is the purpose of covering? Keep them moist. Moist. Keep them moist. Keep them moist because it does dry fast. Notice how dry this this uh, uh, dough is. You know, it's drier than right. that semolina. Uh, it just makes a coarser dough. Now, <clears throat> on your pasta machine, well, you were going to talk about what's going to go inside this pasta. Yeah. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the mix. And it's a four, uh, three cheese with a little uh, spinach, okay? And it's ravioli. But, uh, ravioli. Right? We're making a ravioli. But... You can always put anything you like. If you got some chicken, make sure it is catch, mint or diced catch, real fine. Okay. okay? So you can add chicken, you can add shrimp, you can add fish, you can whatever you like on the, on your uh, pasta. That's looking good. So for the for the mix, I am going to add a little bit of make it go again. cottage yes. cheese. Well, let's just do it right there. Right there. Right there. So we're okay. running now that I got my cottage cheese, I'm going to add my mozzarella. 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 You know, I've noticed that whenever you're making pasta, it comes out better if you practice your Italian. I think so. It Ciao. Gives it the, mozzarella. It gives, <laughs> pasta. <laughs> Parmesano. Parmesano. <laughs> Reggie. Arrivederli. And then we can add our... Well, I guess I need to work on my Italian. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we brought you, so you can work on your Italian. We're gonna add all the cheeses together. How's that? Now, I did saute a little bit of fresh spinach. A fresh spinach, you could also use a frozen spinach, chopped spinach, we're gonna add that to our pasta. So it's beautiful, just like that. Now we're gonna mix, I'm gonna mix this in together. And this is gonna be our stuffing, okay guys? Okay. How's that pasta there, uh, good? What do you Perfect. think? You think that'll work? I like it, okay. Perfect. Okay. All right, so. Let me mix this so, very good. So this good. is the filling. This and is going to so be the filling. Now, we got to make sure that it's small enough to, uh, uh, minced enough to be able to put in the ravioli. So you okay? want little pieces. Little pieces. Cut it little. Okay. So this will be really good. Okay. Fresh spinach, a little mozzarella, a little cottage cheese. Ricotta cheese has a lot of sodium. Yes. A so lot of fat. So see. we want to kind of cut down a little a bit. Little. But, yeah. you know, it'll work like that. Yeah. And, and, uh. Okay, and so this is a Florentine. This is a Florentine. Let me wash my hands real quick. And so, so anytime that, so anytime that you you see the word Florentine uh, in a recipe, it means it's got spinach in it, huh, Chef Reggie? Right, correct. So, uh, so this is a a a, a, a a homemade Florentine ravioli. I'm gonna put All this right, right you ready here. for the pasta, Chef? Ready. You can go ahead and just leave it just like that. Lay it down right there. We're gonna, what we're going to do is this. Let me show you a trick. You're going to work one when piece at a time. When we do ravioli, we're going to do one at a time. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to center it, okay? We're going to put it right there in the center. Spread it out a little that bit. That wasn't exactly in the center, no. No, but we'll work on it as when we cover it okay. up, okay? Because, you know, you, when you tell dietitians put it right in the center, you know what they're doing. Oh, yeah, they're measuring it. Yeah. Huh? With, yeah. Everything is measured. With a slide rule. <laughs> I swear to those dietitians. I can't say too much because yeah, of my wife. I know, know, I know. Okay, 
And you know she's watching, too. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. So what we're going to do is we're oh, going to lay this on top, You're going to okay? do it like that. Yeah. How's that? Okay. Nice ravioli, eh? You see how it goes? Perfect. Magnifico. All right, so what we're going to do with our hands, make a little pocket. Reggie, and when you do your ravioli over here for the presentation, you're going to do the same thing, okay? Right. Now, we can do a cut it simply. You can mm -hmm. cut it square, or I got a couple of cookie cutters here. Oh, so, so, right. we don't, okay. we, so we don't need to fold, fold it in. No, it, right? no, no. Just kind of press down on it because it will stick to it. So it'll, it'll seal just like it is. And then we're just going to do that. Whoa. Nice, nice ravioli. All right, well, let me That's try cool. them, chef. Yeah. All right, and then we right. can always double check and just press it ourselves like that. So make sure your make sure your seams are good. Let me do that one. Yeah. Okay. Now we got our water boiling right now. Yeah. Okay. So when once the water starts boiling, we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. A lot of people think, a lot of people say, why are we putting oil? Why do we put butter in it? Once the noodle coats one. in, it kind of coats the pasta. When you bring it out, it coats the pasta. You don't really have to. It's just more cost. But yeah. I kind of got grow, I grew up doing that, so yeah, that's beautiful. Well, and if it coats the pasta, that just means that when you it uh, won't rinse stick it, so much. It doesn't exactly. stick together as bad. One yeah. thing I want to show you, Reggie, and there's a lot of things that you and I can do with this is that not only do you do you make a ravioli here, but we could also make a tortellini. Oh. All right, and let me show you that real quick. We're gonna put the pasta, the stuffing in the middle. You, also, you could also use a bigger cutter, cookie cutter. I'm going to put a little bit right here so everybody can see. So your tortellini, you can make them as big or as small as you exactly, want. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to close it like a turnover, like an oh, empanada maybe. Okay. Yeah, that'd be a lot easier if you used a bigger cutter. Yeah, or and just fold it like that. How's oh. that? Oh, that's beautiful. A nice tortellini, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, or, now Chef Manny, what would be other fillers that you could use in this? Uh, uh, well, again, we could use shrimp. Chicken, okay. Okay. pork, uh, okay. name it. You have it. You can do the, you know, any wild game that you want to be so, creative with. So, so you could pick uh, flavors that go well together, like beef, mushroom, onion, for example. That's a good combination. Yeah. Okay. Uh, chicken, basil, and garlic. You know, there you go. and, and of yeah. course you got to have a little cheese in there. You yeah. know, maybe yeah. a mozzarella. Yeah. Will go good with it. What do you think, huh? Yeah. Well, man, I guess I'm gonna have to practice some empanada roll. <laughs> yeah, but that's perfect though. See how you did it? Right. Make you sure don't put up. too much stuffing, no, a filling. All right. Mm -hmm. But once you once you got that lip cover right there. Then you just fold the two ends together oh, like that. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay. All right, okay. so we'll leave those, we'll cook those. We'll wait for the water to boil and we're ready to rock. Okay. Now that we got a ravioli, that was simple. That was yeah. easy, yeah? This right, is really easier easy. than I thought. All right, now we got this. Now we got a little dough, but remember, with these machines, we can make a fettuccine, we can make a linguine, but we can always get a pasta machine like that, right? Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna roll it by hand. If you roll this, just like that, right? And what we do is we roll it like this. Like a cigar. Like a cigar, all right? No, you're not gonna do what I think you're gonna do. Guess what? We're gonna make our own fresh pasta. Oh. We're gonna cut it like this, okay? The old-fashioned way. Yeah. Right? So, 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 so without, without having a fancy machine. machine, all we do is stretch it out like that. Okay. Now we got fe fettuccine. Fettuccine. Yeah? Fettuccine. So now, now there's two ways of doing it. We can go ahead and boil them after we cut them, we boil yeah. them, or we can yeah. air dry them. I prefer to air dry them for a little bit. The texture's there. Okay. That's all the flavor comes to. Okay. If they're freshly made, they're done. So the thinner you do it, the the um, the more of the pasta you have, okay? Okay. Now, if you wanted to do a fiagioli, you kind of roll it up like this. Oh, okay. That's fiagioli, okay? It kind of goes like this, and you when when the and then you let it air dry a little bit, and your pasta is just going to cook up like that. Okay, and so that's so so letting it dry is what makes it keep that shape. Exactly. Okay. So how long do you want it? <coughs> let them dry. I'd you know depending on the humidity in your house or room or whatever, I'd say for a couple of hours. You know, cut the pasta while you're doing everything else, and then you come back, boil the pasta. Because remember, once you boil the pasta, you're going to make your sauce, and that's what we're going to do while we're boiling the ravioli. We're gonna make the pomodoro sauce, and that's right. ready to serve. And you know, I noticed, Chef Manny, even as I'm working this right now, that this is drying out. That's why that's why we have to keep it covered up 
Exactly. Keep it nice and moist yeah. so you can work on it. It's okay to dry, but you want the pasta to be ready. Well, and and maybe it's drying out because of our lights. You know, the yeah. it's drying more. But I got a feeling I know what you're doing this weekend. Uh, making pasta. Making pasta. You I bet. bet you're going to be you making bet. pasta. That's right. There you go. So I, it wasn't too hard, though, no, right? You see? No, no, that's a great idea. And it's a fun thing for the family. Just like us three got together, mm -hmm. finally again after, what, five years? Yeah. And then, look, you can do it at home with the kids, with the grandparents, with everybody pitches in and gets it done. It's yeah. A good, it's a good family get-together. All we need is a glass of Chianti. That's it. Yeah. All right, so now we're ready. I got the water boiling. Why don't you go ahead and drop the stuff while I'm gonna make a pomodoro. Okay, Reggie, the pomodoro is a little bit of, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. It's pretty simple sauce, and it only takes as long as the, the uh, raviolis will take. So your pomodoro is a tomato sauce. It's a tomato, basic tomato it, sauce. In we're fact, gonna, in fact, pomodoro is Italian for tomato. Right. Tomato. So we're gonna add a little bit of onions, right? I'm gonna sweat the garlic, which I got right here. I'm just gonna put uh, a, pi a pinch, right? A little bit of garlic. You know me, I like the garlic that's a, last. That's a generous pinch. It's a little bit. But you know, it's Italian food. It's Italian. You gotta have garlic. You gotta have garlic. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna sweat that a little bit. I got some uh, parsley, Italian parsley. Okay. I got some fresh basil. Basil is always good, okay? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna add our tomatoes. How's that? Pomodoro. So now right. we're gonna let it all cook together. You can smell the fresh mm, aroma. Mm, really smells good, huh? We're gonna add plenty of tomatoes. Yeah, yeah. Because we got it some, is a we got some good ravioli coming. So what happens is it's gonna sweat, it's gonna make some juice, it's gonna make the old tom traditional tomato. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of parmesano. Okay? Parmesano. So we let it cook. That should be coming mm. up pretty soon. Right, and that's it. What do you think, Tim? Oh, that's beautiful. And we want to wait till the uh, pasta rises. Yeah, correct. wait till the first uh, ravioli rises. Once you ra ravioli rises, just like we did that show with the gnocchis, once yeah. the first one comes up, then we start taking them out because they start cooking real fast. Okay. Okay, yeah. so I'll give it just a few more minutes. It's almost ready to go. All right, look like our pasta is floating. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. Go All ahead. Right. Beautiful. Pasta, like any bread product, is always better when it's made fresh. Go ahead the and take dough, them out and put them in there. The pasta dough in this recipe could be used to make any kind of pasta. You could also use this to make a pizza crust. Oh, definitely. Uh, uh, when you're making pasta dough, if you use half semolina flour and half white flour, it'll come out better. The most important tip on making good pasta is to knead the dough long enough to so that it's got it's good and elastic and it's smooth. Now, when you're making pasta, it's important for it to come out good for you to practice your Italian. Pronto, mozzarella, spaghetti, and your 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 pasta will just always taste better. We'd like to thank Sedexo for Chef Manny Marini and also for Chef Reggie Malone. Good to see you again, Reggie. We're glad hey, to have you back. It feels good to be back. All right. And thanks to the city of Lufkin for uh, producing and distributing Memorial Cooking Innovations. Uh, we're in 46 cities these days. That's awesome. Uh, big thanks to our uh, friends at Brookshire Brothers who are uh, sponsors of the show. And <clears throat> thanks to the H.C. Polk Education Center. Join us next time. Where will we be? Greece? Mozambique? Die ball. Wherever we are, we're going to be Nacogdoches. Nacogdoches. Wherever we are, we are going to be changing the world one, one bite, bite at a time. time.